I'd like to welcome everybody. I'd like to welcome everybody. Ian McTeague here will repeat me. Ian McTeague here will repeat me. And um, I would like to acknowledge their work on the land of the Kalapuya. I'd like to acknowledge that we are on the land of the Kalapuya. And uh, we honor all the Native tribes in Oregon. And we honor all of the Native tribes in Oregon. My pronouns are his, him. My pronouns are he, his, him. And for blind participants, I'm wearing a blue shirt and a beer by gloves t-shirt. And so for blind participants, I'm wearing a blue shirt and a Pure Apocalypse t-shirt. And I'm in our home, in uh, our home office. And I'm uh, at my home in our home office. This is my 45th year doing psychiatric survivor here, support committee. This is my 45th year doing psychiatric survivor, uh, peer support, community organizing. I started way back when. I started way back when. All my grandparents were immigrants from Lithuania. All of my grandparents were immigrants from Lithuania. I went to Harvard on scholarship. I went to Harvard on scholarship. In the Bible, I was locked up. And five times I was locked up. Forced drugged. Forcibly, forcibly drugged. But Harvard referred me to this work. But Harvard referred me to this work. So um, I tell you, I'm an radical psychiatric survivor for decades. So I tell you, I've been a radical psychiatric survivor for decades. But uh, I want to say our more moderate wing of our movement. But I want to say that the more moderate wing of our movement. Yes, one of the biggest accomplishment in our movement. Has won the biggest accomplishment in our movement's history. Which is that now peer mental health support is all over the U.S. Which is that now peer mental health support is all over the U.S. If you go to LinkedIn, you'll get by hundreds of people to pay peer mental health support. And if you go to LinkedIn, you can find hundreds of people who are doing paid peer mental health support. I know there's controversy about what is certified, how to certify, but my point is we're everywhere. And I know there is controversy about what is certification, how we certify, but my point is that we are everywhere. And really, if you look at our three presentations, what we're saying is, let's get this to the world. And really, if you look at our three presentations, what we are saying is, let's get this to the world. First slide. First slide. Let me share that really quick. In no good. Yay, Ian. Yay, Ian. All right. So you know the drill. So you know the drill. There's horrible disasters. There's horrible disasters. What I call normality. Or what I call normality. COVID, climate crisis, species extinction. COVID, climate crisis, species extinction. I mean, oceans. Harming our oceans. Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. That chat you can fill in your favorite disaster. <laughs> in the chat, you can fill in your favorite disaster. Be sure to include your email address. And be sure to include your email address. Next slide. So for me, Greta sums it up. So for me, Greta sums it up. Uh, in a recent documentary, I am Greta. In a recent documentary, I am Greta. She begins and ends about her being diagnosed autistic. She begins and ends with her being diagnosed autistic. She credits her mental 
disability label for her amazing achievements. And she credits her mental disability label for her amazing achievements. And by the way, her mother has written a book about Greta. And by the way, her mother has written a book, a book about Greta. Greta really did them extreme and severe mental disability challenges. Greta really did have severe and extreme mental disability challenges. We're talking about lots of screaming. We're talking about a lot of screaming. Uh, eating disorders. Eating disorders. That were threatening her health. That were threatening her health. Refusing to talk to anybody. Refusing to talk to anybody. Except the immediate family. With the exception of immediate family. And Greta is probably one of our main leaders of the climate rebellion. And Greta is probably one of our main leaders of the climate rebellion. And she identifies as having a mental disability. And she identifies as having a mental disability. She is our leader. She is our leader. Mental health, mental disability, climate crisis. Mental health, mental disability, and climate crisis. So that, there it is. So there it is. But let's go on. Well, let's go on. Uh, now, I have invented this triangle. So now I've invented this triangle. If you remember one thing from my presentation. If you remember one thing from my presentation. Green disability. Green disability. Three main points. Three main points. Next slide. So first, yes, we, the mentally disabled people who've gone through some, some psychiatric survivors. So yes, we, the mentally disabled people, people who've gone through the system, psychiatric survivors. Whatever you want to call us. Whatever you want to call us. We need to reduce, reuse, recycle also. We also need to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And, uh, some of my disabled colleagues. And some of my disabled colleagues. Like blind friends. Like my blind friends. Have said, oh no, we use more resources. They've said, oh no, we use more resources. Well, do the best you can. Well, do the best you can. Everybody. Everybody. Us too. Us too. Second, fireman does the body. I love the most. And the second part of the green disability I love the most. Earth. Earth. Modern humanity. Modern humanity. Modern humanity? Yes, an eco impairment. Has an eco impairment? It threatens life. It threatens life. I'm not saying everybody. I'm not saying everybody. I'm not saying at all times. I'm not saying at all times. Like the Koki Indians in North South America. Like the Koki Indians in South America. The Koki called European Americans younger brother. The Koki called European Americans younger brother. They themselves are not harming our planet. Now, they themselves are not harming our planet. But we younger brothers are. But we younger brothers are. Why? Why is modern humanity suicidal? Why is modern humanity suicidal? Why? Why? We have a huge, enormous, life-threatening disability. We have a huge and enormous life-threatening disability. In our minds. In our minds. In our and in our hearts. We have a sickness. We have a sickness. 99% of modern humanity. 99% of modern humanity. Now, who knows what to do when you have extreme disability. Now, who knows what to do when you have extreme disability? Who knows? what to do when you're faced with massive paralysis. 
Who knows what to do when you are faced with massive paralysis? Who knows what to do or have suicidal impulses? Who knows what to do when you have suicidal hey, impulses? Yeah. How about our movement? Hey, how about our movement? Which brings me to point number three. Which brings me to point number three. We, the disability moment, must unite with other social environmental movements. We, the disability movement, must unite with other social and environmental movements. Now. Now. I like to use the R word revolution. I like to use the R word revolution. Yes, nonviolent for now. Yes, nonviolent for now. For me, I'm nonviolent. And for me, I'm nonviolent. But use the R word. But use the R word. It's supportive. It's supportive. It is comforting. It is comforting. It's perhaps one of the best things we can do for global mental health. And it's perhaps one of the best things that we can we, do for global mental health. The disability movement needs to unite. The disability movement needs to unite. Now, I know that we are low income. Now, I know that we are low income. And we rely on the government for independent living centers and we rely on, rely on the government for independent living centers but we mental health consumers and psychiatric survivors but we uh, mental health consumers and psychiatric survivors we have a fire in our belly we have a fire in our belly we just had the death a few months ago of Ivor McEwen. We just had a death a few months ago of Ivory McEwen. Who wanted to become a mental health peer consumer counselor. Who wanted to become a mental health peer consumer counselor. We know this is life or death. We know that this is life or death. During COVID, a huge percentage of deaths were our people. During COVID, a huge percentage of the deaths were our people. And Next slide. Yeah. So let me go through this quickly. So let me go through this quickly. To allow time to hear from you all. To allow time to hear from you all. So we know that by small mutual super groups helped us. We know that small mutual peer support groups have helped I, us. I would say among my dozen alternatives, that's been one of the main ones. I would say that among my dozens of alternatives, that's been one of the main ones. Now, like Beer Galaxy, we need to share this skill. And now, like with Peer Galaxy, we need to share this skill. And share these lessons and share these lessons to the general population to the general population i once heard a native person say he had to uh he felt like he needed to, to forgive the unforgivable i once heard a native person say that he felt like he needed to forgive the unforgivable and we marginalized people may have a lot of anger. And we marginalized people may have a lot of anger. But we need to reach the general population. But we need to reach the general population. The value of peer support. About the value of peer Next. support. And everyone, everyone take leadership. And everyone, everyone take leadership. In the movement long ago leadership was kind of a dirty word in the movement long ago leadership was kind of a dirty word it was called elite it was called elite but now we know everyone is a leader but now we know everyone is a leader 45 years ago we were just part of 
one big movement. 45 years ago, we were part of just one big movement. Prison justice. Prison justice. Women. Women. Labor. Labor. Peace. Peace. We are all leaders for global revolution. We are all leaders for global revolution. We must have global revolution. And we must have global revolution. For us to be here in seven generations, we must. For us to still be here in seven generations, Next. we must. So I want to acknowledge my wonderful experience on Haley's task force. And I want to acknowledge my wonderful experience on Haley's task force. There are only a few task forces like the U.S. And there are only a few task forces like this in the U.S. Like Seattle, Portland. Like Seattle, Portland. We need to connect with other marginalized folks. And we need to connect with other marginalized folks. Like BIPOC. Like BIPOC. And LGBT. And LGBT. Thanks. We need to bring our skills like bleak for disaster prep. We need to bring our skills, including for disaster prep. Thanks. So we want to have time to share our stories and you can do this later now. Chat or Jim will help unmute next. So we want our time to share our stories. You can do this later in chat, chat or Jim can help us unmute. But I wonder, like, I really want to make this possible. But I want to thank everyone who made this possible. And uh, please put your email address in chat. And please put your email address in chat. Or if you see this later, email to us at this email address. Or if you see this later, emails to email to us at this address. Of like Audra ACIU means thanks in Lithuania. I'll plug Achu ACIU, uh, which means thanks in Lithuania. Well, I see Kevin was the first to want to participate. Please keep your stories and questions Brief. Wonderful. I see that Kevin was the first to want to participate. Uh, please keep your stories and questions brief. So we can hear as many folks as possible. So we can hear as many folks okay. as possible. Thanks. Okay. Thank you.